It's one of the biggest mysteries in the history of outer space, and tonight the U of A may have helped solve it. Let's go on over to Nine on Your Side's Craig Smith to explain. Guy, it all goes back about 40 years when the old Soviet Union landed a probe like this one on Mars, but never heard from it again. Landing on Mars is not an easy thing to do, even now. But more than 40 years ago, the Soviet Union did it. The probe sent back one picture, then silence, nothing more. A lot of things had to have worked right for that, but still the mystery is why did it fail after 20 seconds, and we can't resolve that. But now you may be seeing the lander's parachute and even the spacecraft. Now this is a life-size model of the lens on the high-rise camera that's orbiting Mars right now, just to give you a little bit of perspective on the kind of power this has. The camera on your phone, for instance, might be, oh, about 8 megapixels resolution. This one is such high resolution, it is 2,000 megapixels. Dr. Alfred McEwen uses that power to study how Mars formed. He's not sure these pictures really are the Soviet probe, but he's hopeful. HiRISE took these pictures long ago, but it took amateur Russian space enthusiasts years to finally decide these are probably the probe. We reached one of them in Russia today, Vitaly Aragov. He told us, it was unexpected. I practically lost hope. Now he's hoping a Mars rover will roll up someday to really tell us what happened to that long-lost lander. Craig Smith, Cake on 9, on your side.